Hey guys, this is Versatile from GameX30. We got a really quick game tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to play PlayStation 1 games on your modded PSP. Now, I'm going to take a lot of shortcuts. I'm going to assume that your PSP is already modded. It could be a fat, it could be a slim, it could be a go. How you do that mod, you got to watch a different tutorial. If that's important to you, let me know and I'll make that follow up tutorial. But for the sake of time, let's assume you have a modded PSP. And now you have a PlayStation 1 game. So, I have a PlayStation 1 game in my PC, CD ROM drive. Actually, it's a Blu-ray drive, and we're going to rip it. So how do we rip it? So I'm going to use Image Burn, and once you have it installed, click on this, Create Image File from Disk, and then select your source drive. So my example is my letter O, and then I'm going to wait for it to load. If you click on this little icon here, you can tell it where you want to save it. So right now I'm saving it to my G drive. You can pick whatever drive that you want. And then for read speed, you could say max, for example. And then you click on this button, and it will proceed to rip the game. Now, I already did that. So what do we do next? What you need is this program called PSX to PSP. Don't worry, everything is in the more info section. Download it and extract it. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to click on theme mode. It's just really easier that way. And if you go to options, I only have to set this up once. So go ahead, pause the video, take a look at my screenshot here. If you go to folders, what I like to do is I say create game title folder. And then images, I just leave this alone. If you want to customize it ahead of time, be my guest. Click on save and you're good to go. So let's click on convert menu. And let's click on this button here. And what you want to do is navigate to wherever you have just ripped your game and select the bin file because image burn is going to rip the game to a bin and a Q file, not an ISO because ISO is not the right file format for your PlayStation 1 game. Click on open. Okay. I'll put PB, PBP folder. So I'm going to just select the PSP. So we go to PSP and go to game and say okay. And then before we say convert, let's customize it. So let's give it some icons, for example. Let's give it, um, let me go to my folders here real quick. And go to game images. So here's my image, right? And then if I want to give it a background image, which I don't have, but I'll just do this as an example. If you have an information image, which I don't, but I'll select it here, for example. Background music, I don't have that right now. Icon, don't have that. Food warning message, don't have that. But you do want to do something like that? Be my guest. Now I go back to here, click on convert. What it is going to do now is going to take that bin file, it's going to convert it on the fly into an eBoot file. It's going to make a folder called Harmful Park, as an example. And then it's going to rip that game, or convert it rather, and put it on my PSP. So this takes this whole process takes about five, ten minutes. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pause the video. So then after it's done, I'll show you guys proof of that, and then we're going to jump into the real video footage of me playing the game on PSP with the, all this background icon information, and it's going to be a lot of good times. So with that said, hang in tight. All right, we are done. Final compression, 72%. So with that said, let's jump straight into the video footage of me playing the actual game on the PSP and show you how simple this really was today. Let's do this. All right, so let's do this. So I have the PSP. It's modded with 6.35 Pro B7 custom firmware. So let's go ahead and let's go to the game section like so. Press X. And it's actually the first game on the top of my list. It's called Harmful Park, just like I showed you guys on the PC. Oh. Now... If I had a different graphic here, I could actually remove this so we don't see it look like, like this. But if I were to press X, it will launch the game. And just to let you guys know, it works perfectly. I mean, there's, it's, it's awesome to play like a PlayStation 1 on your PSP on the go. I mean, consider how many great PS1 games there are. Why wouldn't you want to rip your games to the eBoot format and put it on your PSP? And if you get like a memory card, which is the 16 gigabyte memory card or get an adapter so you can put another 16 gigabyte memory card on for a total of 32 me uh, gigabytes it's gonna be awesome you can carry like probably your whole PlayStation 1 library because after you rip your PlayStation 1 games they're gonna be easily 700 megabytes or less most likely a lot of your games will be in the 200 or 300 megabyte range as an example so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna skip a lot of this intro stuff here in this game just to show you that yeah this does work so here's the one player um, this game is in Japanese but yeah you get the idea see 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, take a look at that. Yeah. Now, if you want to do the controller settings, press start, um, press the home button, and then you can press X, and here you can adjust your control so it looks like the PlayStation 1 the best to your ability. And you can do this and set it however you want it to be. So, we can see, clearly see that this works out fine, and there's nothing else really to say. So if you like this type of video, please like, favorite, and subscribe so that hopefully one day we can get to the front page of YouTube. Otherwise, if you got any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.